Hi guys, Eldon Yoder here with Yoder Outdoor Furnaces. Thought I'd give you a quick tour of the Heatmaster P4000 furnace we're using to heat our shop. I uh, just started this uh, furnace a few minutes ago and it's the water's still cold so it's not burning extremely clean um, or hot yet. But I thought I'd give you a quick tour while I had a minute. Um, so I'm going to go over here to the viewing port. It just did an ignition cycle. Uh, the igniter started the pellets on fire. They're starting to feed in out of the bin. Uh, so I'll take you down here to the viewing port. And you can see the pellets burning on the grate. So there's a stainless steel grate and a brick lined chamber there. Um, and it's the, the fan, induction fan is pulling the oxygen up through the pile of pellets. Um, once this thing runs for half an hour, it'll be a much bigger fire, but it's at least a little quick view. You can see the pellets laying there on the grate. They're feeding down the chute there on the left side. Um, I'll go around to the chute on the other on the side here, and you can see them feeding in. So the auger is feeding them in from the left, and they're dropping down the chute. Sorry, it's a very bright sunny day. Um, so yeah, you can see them dropping down the grate, down the chute there into the grate. And if I lift the bin here, you can see the bin, it doesn't have a lot of pellets in it, but the auger there is feeding the pellets up and dropping them down the chute. So yeah, it's a very simple system. Uh, it's been working great. Uh, we're going to heat our shop this winter with it. This is a quick look in the firebox. Now when I open this door, it's going to break the suction um, from the fan, and so the fan flame will die. So I can't do this real long, but I'll crack it open here. And you can see it coming up through the nozzle. There's a brick line chamber there above the grates, and then it blows it through a nozzle to get mix the fuel and air together. It uh, makes a much more efficient burn. Uh, I think that's a unique thing that Heatmaster's doing with their pellet models. You can hear the suction of the fan. Now that flame would be just shooting up like a torch all the way to the top of the firebox here um, when it's under a full burn. But that's the ceramic um, over there it's pulling through. But um, yeah, it'll be a white hot flame coming up through there once it's up and running. Underneath, there's an ash clean out. Um, probably every month or two you'll be taking a gallon or two of ash out the bottom. Um, so if I break the suction here, there's the grate. There's a tool here that shakes the grate. And then there's another spot over here. The same tool shakes the spirals. Uh, it goes, if I can do this one-handed, break the, the spirals up and down. And then there's another access port on the back where you shake another set of spirals. That's to clean the exhaust tubes. The ash falls in the bottom. Show you the hookups on the back. There's a cover here that goes on top of that viewing port. So back here, draft fan at the top. It'd be the same fan as the G-Series. There's another um, connection there where you shake your the turbulators with that same tool I showed you on the front. There's an access port here for a once a year clean out on top of the tubes. Same similar hookup with the pump there to your house. Mixing pump, same as the G-Series. Electrical connections, igniter, uh, damper motor, let the air in. That's the auger motor that feeds the pellets in. So it's a pretty tidy, um, neat little setup there. All spray foam, it's very well insulated. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to have a furnace here at the shop that I can load up once or twice a week and forget about it. It just wasn't hardly practical for us to cut firewood when we were in a busy season. So, anyway, just thought I'd give you a quick tour. Thanks.